I'm here with the dive team and we are practicing in-water recompression. The scenario is that someone has decompression symptoms and all borders are closed so we cannot get to any decompression chamber. And we have agreed to uh, do a four hour treatment table. And at the moment our diver is down in this cage. This cage here has like a netting that drops down to, to 15 meter. And that is a bit of a crocodile protection. And we want to keep him warm, that was our major concern. So what Clever is doing here, he is, he is running the exhaust water from the engine through a hose all the way down to the diver and he has placed it in his wetsuit. So that's how he's being kept warm. And we did need a way to communicate, so we found out that you can write with pencils on yogurt pots. That's probably the, the easiest available slate if you have nothing else. And we give him uh, juice packs that are easy to drink in the water. We found some industrial oxygen and we mounted a demand valve to the oxygen regulator of the tank. So we're going to hang it at 4 meters so that the patient can breathe 100% oxygen down there. It took us a while to come up with a way to keep the diver warm. We we're trying to think about bringing the drum down, filling that with hot water. Uh, jerry cans with hot water, but the thing is that it all cools down fast. So this last solution to just have water coming from the engine going in the suit is just quite perfect actually. All right, I've given the unconscious or the, the diver um, a message to pretend that he's unconscious. And we're gonna see if the safety diver picks it up and he should bring him to the service. Larry, make sure his mouth stays out of the water. Bring him to us. Bring him to us. Keep his mouth out of the water, Larry. Yeah, that's a disadvantage of not having BCD on, like. Alright, well done guys! <laughs>